Hey there, everybody. This is Sarah, your socially awkward seller, and I thought I'd bring you a sales video today. Um, I was on vacation for almost two weeks, and I turned all my stores off and, um, of course, didn't have any sales. And um, so I turned my store on about nine days ago. First couple of days were kind of sketchy. We didn't get, I uh, really didn't get any sales, but I have gotten sales since then, and I thought I would share those with you. Uh, and I am going to share them on uh, my two eBay stores and my Amazon store. I haven't really had much happen on Poshmark. Um, so um, this is my only Amazon sale in the last um, 10 days or so, and this was just a few days ago. This is a Wilton two-piece Easter lamb cake set, a cake pan set that I bought at Meyer um, on clearance, like after Easter. And I paid $1.49 for it, and it sold for $24.20 plus $4.99 shipping. And um, I fortunately did find two of those that had packaging that was good enough to sell these new. So that was that thing. Let's jump over to my main eBay store. Um, I sold this Krups Press -a Maxi juicer. Um, and this is vintage. It's a little bit older. Uh, sold that for $22.67 plus shipping. This is um, a pair of soft style Hush Puppy um, loafers that I picked up for $4. And I sold those for, for $24.99. I, I may have taken a best offer, but I think these probably these I think these sold for full price because I didn't check here is a Transformers Beast Wars this is vintage 90s um, toy and it was damaged and I took a best offer for nine dollars for this I bought this in a huge lot of Transformers there were probably 30 30 or 40 Transformers in the lot I paid fifteen dollars for it and um, I think I only have maybe one or two left um, and I have sold these from $7 to $20, um, just depending on which one they were in their condition. This is a vintage prayer book, and it is actually tiny. Like, it was so little, um, smaller than a deck of cards. And um, I sold that for $10.99. I think I got it in a lot of stuff at the antique mall pair of Allegria um, nursing shoes basically or professional shoes um, I sold these for $30 and I paid $4 for those this jacket I have actually sold before got returned for size I paid $4.99 for it um, but I just thought it was the coolest little satin jacket and it did sell again for $29.99 plus shipping um, I had these forever and these are the Jikitabi Ninja Shoes. Um, they were new with tag. And uh, I advertise them as for like cosplay. <clears throat> and they did sell for full price at $48.59 plus shipping. This is a brand that you should probably look for. The shoes are not that attractive. Um, they're more for comfort. And uh, but I took a best offer of $62 for these, and I know I only paid like five or five or six dollars for them. Uh, and I think it's Terry Robotin uh, or Terry Robotin. Uh, I'm not sure. And um, these are like a um, an Oxford shoe. I bought this lot of Ninja 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 uh, Nintendo Wii. This is a Wii Mini. And I bought this entire lot for $49.99. Um, it's been listed probably for, I would say, a month, maybe 45 days. And I took a best offer of $120 plus shipping. Um, probably could have made more if I'd parted this out, but I just didn't want to go through the effort. Um, I bought two lots of LeapFrog tag readers actually it was one big lot um, and I think I paid somewhere around eight or nine dollars for it and it came with three readers uh, the the tag pins uh, lots of books and then a couple of accessories and uh, I already sold the other lot which was smaller for $19.99 and then this lot sold for $29.99 plus shipping and I don't have a lot since uh, I don't have a lot of sales in the last 10 days um, but 
Um, so we're almost at the end. There's a few more. This is a pair of Skechers that I actually got for myself. Um, but um, they, I just didn't need these anymore. And um, I sold these for a best offer of $16.99 plus shipping. I bought this uh, as it is, just these two parts, for $2 at one of my favorite little thrift stores. And um, I knew immediately what it was. And um, it is for one of those um, round, like, countertop induction ovens. Um, and this is a replacement grill and uh, the tray. And, uh, again, I, I paid $2 for this, and it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. And then let me switch over to my little baby store. Um, I have less items listed on this, and these are more niche items, vintage toys, uh, vintage paper goods, um, just things like that. So um, this is a very niche store, um, and I only put particular items here. But this, these were the first things uh, that I listed in this store before I even had a store here on this account. I had bought a lot of um, WWE figures, and I like buying a, like lots of toys because... I usually get a really good return on those, even if I don't know exactly what I've got and have to do tons of research. Once that research is done, which I actually enjoy, um, I usually do okay on lots like this. Um, there were probably about, I would say, 15, 15 to 20 of these figures, and I think I paid $8 for them, $8, $9 for them. And I only have about a handful left. Um, but this one sold for $11.99 plus shipping, and this is a Triple H um, doll, from, doll action figure, I know, from 2005. Um, the next lot was, I bought these books at a church sale. I think I paid a dollar each for them, so $9 total for the lot. I'd never heard of these books, the Happy Hollisters. Um, but I took a best offer of $30 for these because they just didn't jump off the shelf the way I thought they might. Um, but anyway, $9 into $30, I'll, I'll still do that. Um, and the last item that I had up for sale is um, this um, crawling little baby from Tomy. And um, this was new in package. It had never been opened. I paid a dollar or less for this. And it sold for a best offer. I'd had this for quite some time. Um, so I did take a best offer of $10 for it. Um, because I just thought it would sell for more than that. Um, but again, it had been here for a while. And I just thought it was time to let it go. Um, so I did sell it for $10 plus shipping. And those are the sales that I had for the, like, the last 9, 10 days. Actually, probably for the last 7 days because I didn't get any sales for the first couple of days coming back from my vacation. And it's really funny the way a vacation um, mode will work. Sometimes when I go on vacation and I turn my store off, um, when I turn it back on, the, the sales just car start booming in. Um and this time it just didn't happen. They started to trickle in. And really they only started to trickle in after I started working again and actually listing things and paying attention to my store. So you never know what you're going to get. eBay's like a box of chocolates, I suppose they would say. Um, anyway, thank you for watching. Those are my sales for the last nine days. And I hope to have a haul video for you coming up next um, as I plan to shop in a few days. But I can't do that until I get rid of this massive amount of inventory that I have. So thank you for much, so much for being here. Um, remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming and keep working. And I'll see you guys the next time. Bye.